Welcome to the IEA's 2014 General Audit Management Conference Speaker Preview. My name is Shannon Steffi. Today I am interviewing Andrew Simpson, who will be one of our industry experts at GAM, taking place in Orlando, Florida, March 24th through the 26th, 2014, at Hilton Orlando Bonnet Creek. Andrew will be presenting a session at GAM called Success Strategies, Integrating Data Analytics in a Risk-Based Audit Plan, on Tuesday, March 25th at 12.45 p.m. Andrew is the Chief Operations Officer at Caseware. He has nearly 20 years of experience in the information system audit and security business, specifically within data analytics, interrogation, and forensics. He is a regular contributor to various auditing conferences and is an expert on continuous controls monitoring and fraud prevention. Simpson previously worked with Ernst & Young as an IT security specialist and is also the chairman of Sentai Consulting, an IT audit and security consulting firm. Welcome, Andrew. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you for joining, uh, for inviting me to come and talk a little bit about my session. Absolutely. So, thank you. Um, I do know that you've presented previously at some of our international conferences. Uh, is this your first GAM conference? Yeah, this is the first time at GAM, um, but I've, as you said, I've done quite a lot of IA stuff before. Always fun, always great to have the audience listen, staring at you or a co-presenter cool and you have them locked in for an hour to listen to you, you know, it's really cool doing that, yeah. That's great. Well, we're glad to have you. Now, can you provide us with a brief overview of what your session is all about? All right, so first thing is that I'm going to be co-presenting with Todd Freeman and he's the VP of Internal Audit at uh, Chicago Bridge and Iron. And, um, and Todd is, is, is a really excellent presenter as well. So it's gonna be two of us kind of doing like a, a dual team kind of thing going. So it's gonna be fun. Um, first thing, another thing too is that it's um, after lunch, but don't worry, we're gonna keep <laughs> you all awake and excited. Um, I'm gonna be presenting more conceptual stuff at, the, at the, you know, it's a fairly high level and Todd is going to be the star. He's going to be the one that goes in and gets you all the practical and pragmatic way of doing the things that we talk about. So I get to do the easy part, he gets to do all the fun stuff, you know, but um, that's the session is really going to be about uh, three areas. One is when you talk about the future of internal audit, how as an internal audit department you can become one of those visionary internal audit departments. And when we talk about what is a visionary department, we, we, we're thinking that it's it's one of those departments where their their value, the value that they offer to the organization is, is quite significant. And um, we think that the, the appetite of a chief audit executive to be the leader of one of these audit departments is directly correlated to the value that they deliver to the company. Uh, so when we talk about that, we talk about now how does audit analytics play a role in a risk-based approach to deliver that value. So that's one of the things that we're going to be talking about. And um, in doing that, we're going to be talking about three things. One, it's um, the people. The process. Second thing is the process. Third thing is the technology. A lot of people think that this is all about technology, and yes, as I work with a technology company, so I'd like to think that that is true, but it's not. It's about um, how do you get the, the people to be aligned in that vision from the chief audit executive? Uh, how do they get to change their processes and improve their processes so that in the risk-based approach, you also have data analytics or audit analytics perfectly integrated and ingrained in it. Mm. And then uh, the third thing is technology, and we, Todd is, is going to talk about that. He's okay. going to talk about what they have used and the successes that they have had. So in all of this, it's really going to be just a few minutes of theory and concepts, and after that, it's going to be real-world examples. Todd is not going to, you know, try and make it look easy, but at the same time, he's going to give you a lot of pragmatic approaches to get into the results that you need. Oh, that sounds great. Um, yeah, you. Can you actually give us a real-world example of how an auditor has applied a strategy for effective use of analytics? Yeah, I'll tell you my examples. I mean, I've been an auditor forever. Um, one of the first times that I really got sold on how um, great it is to use analytics in, in my audits, and I won't tell you how many years ago because I don't want to start guessing my age, but uh, we were doing an audit and we were looking at um, uh, 
insurance claims, right? So I was working with one of the big four and we were looking at insurance claims and there are like millions of claims going through. And uh, the exceptions that we found were far less than, say, 0.1% of the population. But one, we were not using sampling, and two, we were able to process millions of records and look for um, excessive claims, duplicated claims, uh, claims where, you know, it's a man claiming for a hysterectomy, things like that, that okay. pops out as, as being um, dubious. And in the end, when we looked at the type of monies that we uncovered, and it felt really good, and that's for me is that as an internal auditor, I really liked the fact that I did work, and when the work was completed, I could specifically say, this is the value that I've delivered to the company. And that, that's from my own experience. Sure, that's a great one. Thank you. Now, if an attendee could take one thing away from your session, what would you want it to be? Uh, well, they could get away from the session and say, oh, these two gentlemen are really handsome guys. Well, that's not what we're <laughs> hoping for, right? We're, we're trying to do something a little bit more value-added than that. And uh, we don't want the audience to be telling things that are not true. So <laughs> another thing that we really want them to take from the session really is we want them to say that they came to a session and it wasn't all theory, there were some real world examples, mm -hmm. we didn't sugarcoat it, we didn't make it look unnecessarily overly easy and at the same time it didn't look overly complex. Right. That you got real examples, things that you can go back to your company, you can practice, you can use, you can take that advice, you can get some direction in terms of how to proceed and then you can take that to get value as well. Well that sounds great. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Andrew. I appreciate your time, and we're looking forward to seeing you at GAM. Yeah, thank you very much. It was fun. All right. Thanks. Okay. Bye.